Hey guys, I uh, hope this finds everybody well today. Uh, another beautiful, hot, almost fall day here in uh, northern Georgia. Uh, things are going to cool off here a little bit. Uh, as you saw in the last video, we have put the raised beds to sleep. And uh, that'll be it for them until next spring. Uh, we're going to let them rest this winter and uh, we're just going to mulch them real heavy and keep the compost going to them. And uh, kind of let them recharge and uh, they'll be all ready for next spring. But uh, meanwhile, I uh, thought appropriate here to give y'all a, a kind of an update on the, uh, the fall greenhouse, uh, which is already up and running, as you can see. Um, got a lot of new things we're going to try this year. Uh, looking forward to it. I'm real excited about it. I always get excited this time of year when we get the greenhouse started up. I love it. I just, it's just nothing like it, guys. I just, you know, if you can somehow do you some kind of a small greenhouse, or you really owe it to yourself if you can. Uh, there's there's nothing like the excitement of being able to grow uh, summertime crops in the wintertime. Um, and I'll keep you guys up to date all through the winter and uh, see what we come up with. But um, anyway, let's get started and take a little look at uh, nine days ago here where our tomato plants. Uh, we had the, uh, we're going to have the two two big beefs, always going to have a big beef. Uh, you know, tried and true, always going to do what they're going to do. Uh, this year I have Rutgers, which is something which is a new variety I have not planted and uh, they have not done in Dutch buckets yet. Uh, also we have Brandywine Red, which I have not done in Dutch buckets. And uh, Cherokee Purple, which is a new tomato for me altogether. Uh, I've heard a lot of good reviews about them. And uh, we're going to try them this year. And uh, we're also going to try some... Uh, we're going to do some Dutch bucket carrots. Right, something else I have not done. Uh, and here, uh, here they were when they're seedlings. Uh, probably roughly around nine days ago. Uh, we got the rainbow mixed colors, which uh, we don't know what we're going to get out of those. They're just, they're, they're just at random. It could be purple, it could be yellow, it could be orange. Uh, just, they can't ever tell. Uh, we're going to try those. And uh, we'll try round Romeo which is a uh, kind of a, a, I don't know, a, a, a round, just a round carrot. It's not a long carrot like your traditional carrot would be. Uh, we're going to try a broccoli leaf kale, uh, which we did last year. The broccoli leaf kale actually turned into a tree, and uh, that, thing, that thing just went crazy. Uh, I afraid, in fact, I was afraid it was going to bust my bucket, but it did not. It uh, did really good, so we're going to do that one again. And... Uh, we're also going to try uh, broccoli in Dutch bucket, which is something I've never done before. Um, looking forward to all of these. Uh, also, I have a uh, pepperoncini pepper. There it was nine days ago. And there it is now. Uh, everything's growing really good, guys. They're just taking off like I fully expected them to. Uh, I haven't grown peppers here the last couple of years in the greenhouse. Uh, they just haven't done real, real good. Uh, they probably primarily too, due to the cooler temperatures. Peppers do not like cold temperatures. And sometimes uh, during the late December and uh, early January, February, right along in there, when it gets really cold and the nighttime temperatures drop down, uh, they just don't, they just don't, they just kind of slow down in growth. So you don't get a lot of production out of them. Plus, I uh, started having aphid problems with them. So, um, but anyway, we're going to try this pepperoncini, which is something. I love those kind of peppers anyway. We're going to try some of those in here just for kicks this year. And, uh, and then over here we got our uh, lettuce. We got, uh, we got green ice lettuce, uh, giant Caesar, Vivian lettuce, early golden, ace cabbage that we're going to do, Paris Island romaine, and Sylvia Red Romaine. Uh, looking forward to trying all these. And here we got our uh, our, cra our um, cracky beds all ready to go. 
And uh, as soon as these things get a little bigger and uh, get big enough to transplant in there, we're going to get them things fired up and get them going because the temperature is going to cool down a little bit here in the next couple of weeks. And uh, so we shouldn't have any trouble with anything bolting on us. But um, anyway, guys, uh, looking forward to it. It's going to be fun. Uh, we're going to keep you updated on this stuff and show, let you know how everything goes. It's going to really be exciting. Uh, we're also going to do... Um, I'm gonna go back to the uh, cracky bucket celery. Uh, I did that a couple years ago. I did, I did, I tried Dutch bucket last year. It didn't really do too good. Um, for some reason, though, they wanted to rot on me. Uh, <clears throat> I don't know, understand why that was, but uh, anyway, it just that didn't do too good. So I'm gonna go back to the uh, to the cracky buckets on the celery again this year. I have not started those yet, but uh, we'll get those started here pretty soon. But uh, anyway, guys, y'all hang loose and uh, just just keep stay tuned to the channel. And uh, we're going to keep you updated and let you know. And uh, until then, may God bless you. We'll see you next time.